The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. What's up, guys? It's Harvey, and this is my Moxie mixtape. When I want to get the party started, I put on WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Very recently, I learned the dance to it for a TikTok. I just feel like that really gets you going, you know? You're bouncing on the floor and everything. I mean, it gets you going, gets you ready to dance, and everyone seems to know the lyrics already. Go off, you know what I mean? I've got so many drafts in my phone trying to do that TikTok. And I ended up going with the first one just because it was the funniest because I couldn't actually do it. By the end of it, I actually got quite good. But I just thought it was better to do the first one, you know, make it real. The song that I'm likely to sing in the shower is Chandelier by Sia. My whole family does it actually, my little brother included. Chandelier is his go-to as well. I don't know what it is, I think it's because it's so high and it's just so out of range for everybody. We all just try and tackle it in the shower. The song most likely to make me cry would be Hostage by Billie Eilish. I just think it's such a beautifully well-written song. She sounds incredible and the lyrics are so deep. I've, I've listened, when it first came out, I listened to it and I was like, oh, that's quite, it's quite like emotional, you know? And I, I, you know, I'm an emotional person, but I don't really cry a lot. But like, that's a song that I'm like, okay, that's, that's kind of kind of deep. The song that gets me in the best mood is Good Vibes by Harvey featuring Matoma. It's called Good Vibes and puts you in a good vibe. The song kind of reminds me of like the 70s kind of vibe, it's kind of got all the, kind of the funkiness to it, you know? And when I did the music video, I really wanted to embrace that whole vibe. So I did a music video where I played loads of different kind of like late 60s, 70s characters. I had so much fun and I've never really done anything like that before. My motivational workout song is, as you can probably tell, I don't do much working out. So I'm just gonna say, if I was to work out, I'd listen to Sexy and I Know It by LMFAO, just to big myself up a bit, do you know what I mean? Just to like listen to it, look in the mirror, tell myself I'm sexy. I think that'll mo motivate me. I'm not worried about my fitness for Strictly. I think I'll be okay, because I already do quite a lot of dancing for stage and my stamina's not too bad, so I think I'll be okay. My favorite girl power anthem. Just because I know the story behind it, probably be shout out to my ex, Little Mix. Just because there's a couple of lines in there that like Perry sings and I'm like, oh, like that's powerful. I've seen live shows of them singing that song and sometimes they'll change the lines slightly to alter it to their actual personal situations. And I just think it's so, it's just so like, go you. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's so cool. And Little Mix as a whole are just so amazing. And I just think the girl power that they, they hold is just incredible. They're, they're very four strong, amazing women. The song I listen to after a breakup is Someone Like You, Adele. I just think she hits the hardest, you know, ever since day one. When I was younger, back in primary school, I, I used to blast that song when I used to get my heart broken. Very rare I get my heart broken. I was a bit of a player back in school. A song that reminds me of home is Bank Account by 21 Savage because once my brother played it in the car and my dad loved it and it's his favorite thing to do is to count up with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. And he sits there in the driver's seat and he just seems like a proper G and he loves it. And that reminds me of home now because we put it on every time I'm home with my mum in the car and it's great. A song that I like to listen to when I'm on a road trip is Sunflower by Post Malone and Swaley. For some reason, that song makes me so happy. And ever since it's come out, me and my brother play every time we go on long car journeys. We both have a similar music taste, but sometimes it's very different, but we can both agree on when we put that song on, like we both jam to it. So yeah, Sunflower. So a song that kind of sums up my teens and a song that I would play would be personal, my own song. Um, just because I recorded it and released it, I think when I was 18, it was a, the biggest song that I've ever had. And I know it's kind of like a teen song for a lot of people. A lot of my friends and a lot of younger friends say like that's like their song of their teenhood, if that makes any sense. It's quite an iconic song, I won't lie. So yeah, personal kind of sums up my teens. The song that brings back the best childhood memories, first one would be Consider Yourself from the Oliver Twist movie, musical. Um, I was the Artful Dodger in my school play, and I remember singing Consider Yourself, and I think that was my first ever stand ovation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what songs you would add to your Moxie mixtape, and I'll see you guys very soon. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you wanna watch any other videos, they'll pop up here. You can click them and watch any other videos you wanna watch. This one is of me, and this one is of someone else. So if you wanna watch more of me, then do it. And if you don't, then click this one.